By the end of this video, you will learn how to create the app, also the DMG, and finally the ISO for any of macOS system, Big Sur, Catalina, Mojave, High Sierra, and Ventura, Monterey as well. For instance, I have it here, Ventura 13.10, the latest version, ready to be used on VirtualBox and also VMware. Good day everyone, this is Gabriel. On this video, we're going to learn how to use macOS Installer Super Tool. This is an application that can help you to download any ISO, any app, any file, installer or firmware for macOS. Let me show you. On the description below, I will be giving you the link where you can go to this website here. When you are on that website, scroll down and check for the one that says download and then click here and click here allow and it will download i have it here now what this application does on the system is that it download the app file and then it converts into dmg and finally get the iso for you that's where we're going to learn how to do it now i have it on my download here I'm going to go to the installer, continue, install, then enter the password. And it's going to install here, close here, move to trash. I'm not going to need that file any longer. Now go to the launch pad and you will see the icon. Now that I have it, it will give you these options here. Now that you have it, just make sure to follow the steps firmware. You don't need that right now, right? Because that depends if you need it. Another thing that I would like to mention is that you cannot only download Ventura. You, you can have more options. For instance, Monterey, Big Sur, Catalina, Mojave and High Sierra. You have all those applications there that you can download and get the ISO as well. Now go to the installer because we're going to look for this one, the new version. Then click here. Then it will tell you that it's not compatible. Continue. Something that I do recommend to do is this image here and then ISO. Select these three options. Then I'm going to save it on my desktop here. Then I click save. It will start at the download. This process is going to take at least 15 minutes. But as you can see here, the file that we're going to download is 12 gigs. So once it has been completed, it will set up here this part. And then the application will convert this into a this image. And finally, the ISO. That's the one that we want to obtain, right? So I'm going to pause the video here. And then I'm going to show you how is the process. So you can have a better idea. One moment. Something that I forgot to tell you is that you need to have enough space on your disk drive. I have 89. Because... I will show you why I tried to do it early with less space, but it was telling me you don't have enough space. So I have to reinstall the virtual machine. But right now we have enough space in order to make this work. The process continues, as you can see here. It's seven gigs now. We're about to finish. As you can see here, it asking me to open system settings. This is because we have to Get permission to the application in order to make some adjustment. We can see here that it has finished the download. Now 
it's time to complete the other process. It will ask you for some permission that you need to give to the software, but just make sure to allow because it will pop up here later on. But right now we're going to wait. As you can see here, it's completing everything. It has been created a temp folder. I'm just showing you here. There is an icon. Where is the temp? It will create a DMG file and then that file will be converted in an ISO so you can have it. As you can see here, it's here. That one is the app. It has been created there. Saving application to destination. It's this one. And then it will configure the temporary disk image directory and create a disk image. But right now, we're just waiting. On the following screen, you you are able to verify that it's creating the disk image. So I'm just showing you it's 37 available. So that will be enough space to create the ISO later. Now the last part, the software is creating this ISO that we're going to use later for a virtual box or a Mac OS VMware. As you can see here, it's the DMG file that I mentioned early, 12 gigs, and there is another icon here, which is the app, another 12 gigs, but the one that we're going to use, it's the ISO. Once this has been created, we're going to delete everything. We're just going to keep the ISO. Now, as you can see here, it says 8.69 gigs available. That's why I had like 100 gigs for this virtual machine. In order to give you this example, if you have a macOS Monterey Big Sur, the only requirement that you need is that Remember that this application runs on Monterey and later. Doesn't run in previous than Monterey. So that could be one issue. It's about to finish here. You will see the final ISO icon on the desktop. And there you go. The process has finished. And we got the ISO here with the new version of Ventura ready to be installed, ready to copy and paste. Virtual machine settings, and you will, you will, and then you enable the share folders, always enable. You can simply add here and browse the folder that you would like to share. For example, document and click here, then next, finish and OK. And uh, once you are on that folder, for example, here, computer, if I have it here, share folders, and I got this one, then you go to info, get info. And once you are on the, that part, you see that it says read only. You click on this lock locker and then you type your password here. Once you have that enabled, go to the section that says read and write, and that will give you full access so you can drag and copy the file into that folder without any issues. So that's everything for this video. I hope you like it. And then you just need to copy this file into a USB drive, thumbs drive, or an external hard disk drive. That will be everything for this video. I hope you like it. And if you have questions or if you have some issues, type the error on the description below so we can help you. Thank you for watching.